This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We return to the frozen waters of Green Bay, Wisconsin for the annual Outdoor Bound TV Walleye and Whitefish Weekend hosted each year by fishing pro Dale Strohshine at his Sand Bay Beach Resort in Sturgeon Bay. Before we head out onto the ice for some great hard water fishing action, Dale is going to provide some tips and tactics on how to land these trophy fish. Oh yeah! Right. Awesome. What a big old beast. 75 yards. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral. Meyer Recreational Buildings, Smith Brothers Meats, and Colby Chrysler. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. It contains less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need for proper gestation. And it's a great way to ensure that your deer are getting the proper vitamins and minerals they need to grow big horns. We started using Real Deal Mineral on our farm this year, and the results, well, they speak for themselves. Real Deal Mineral. Check out our website or a dealer near you. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. We don't cut corners, we cut steaks. We're Smith Brothers Meats. Pick up your favorite smoked or fresh cut meats and choose from our local cheese and dairy selections. They're all waiting for you, right here. From our coolers to your table, discover why Smith Brothers Meats has been a family tradition since 1984. Visit us online to learn more or stop in today. You won't go home empty-handed. Smith Brothers Meats, Colby, Wisconsin. At Colby Chrysler Center, our number one priority is you. We're looking for a new vehicle, a quality pre-owned, or help from our courteous service department. We take pride in everything that we do. Dodge Ram voted Motor Trend Truck of the Year with a powerful Hemi engine, air ride off-road suspension, and optional Ram box. And we thank you for making us Central Wisconsin's number one choice. At Colby Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. You know, it's become a tradition every year to host a walleye and whitefish weekend from the Bay of Green Bay every winter. Well, this year was no different. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we meet up with my good friend and guide, Dale Strohshine of Sand Bay Beach Resort. Now, Dale gives us some tips and tactics on how to catch these monster fish. And then we get to head out onto the ice for some great hard water fishing action on the Bay of Green Bay. Let's head to the historic Door County, Wisconsin, right now. I'm really fired up, you guys are here, and, and uh, the great thing about fishing here for walleyes is I will put this up against anywhere in the Midwest that if you get one bite, it's going to be over 10 pounds. So that's one thing that we have that really has made us such a destination as far as for coming and fishing for walleyes. There's a lot of little tips that can help you, you know, with um, catching some more fish. You're going to get three kinds of bites when you're out there jigging. The first one is my favorite. Hop into pause, and all of a sudden you're just going to get a smash. I mean, some of them almost darn near rip the rod out of your hand. Now, if you miss one of those, shame on you, because those you shouldn't miss. Um, the next one is going to be hop into pause, and you're going to get like a perch bite. It's just like a perch bite. You're just going to get a just a boom, boom, and, and not much, you know. Just stay with your program, go back to your, you know, hop into pause. But be ready because a lot of times those are really big walleyes. Sometimes what'll happen is your rod's just gonna load up a little bit, 
Just follow it down, follow it down, give them line, give them line, and then just give a little resistance. If you feel anything, set the hook. The other one, and this is a tough one, you're gonna do a hop and a pause. On your next hop, when you come up, he's just gonna be there. Now those, those I miss. <laughs> so you can miss some of those. Those are tough to get. One thing I will tell you is this too. If you really want to be here to catch some smaller eating walleyes, then you only got to go out about a mile and a quarter, mile and a half, and I can show you a spot where there's 15 to 21 inches, and that's about all we're getting. You know, so I mean, if you wanted to take some back, that would be a good spot to be sitting in. If you get a big one, take a picture of it and let them go. Decent fish. Oh, he's a good one. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. Well, five pounds, huh, Bob? All right. First big walleye up at Sturgeon Bay. Got a puppet minnow here. From Northland. And we tip it with a emerald shiner head and uh, we just pulled in today and we got one. So that was pretty exciting. Staying at Sand Bay Resort. That's awesome. That's my first fish jigging for walleyes ever. Well, we just had our first fish on of the night here. Uh, got him up to the hole and and uh, ended up getting off. Here we are, it's our first morning out on uh, Green Bay, just outside of Sturgeon Bay. First morning, Saturday, the 26th of uh, January. Bitter cold this morning. You can tell by the ice freezing up on the line here, it's pretty darn cold. We're looking for some marble eyes. We're staying at Sand Bay Resort. Accommodations are just tremendous. Stinks. Walleye home for a couple days. Uh, we're fishing in about 23 feet of water, moving a minnow lake uh, lure off the bottom about a foot, periodically just raising it up and letting it simply fall back down, trying to entice these guys to bite. You know, our focus today is really to try to put some really big walleyes on the ice. 
you know, there's a lot of huge fish here. This fishery has really been known for the, not, not necessarily the quantity of fish, but just the quality of fish. Now, this is my first trip here, and so far it's been a great experience. The only thing that'll make it better is about an eight pound marble eye laying on the ice. Patience is the virtue when you're trying to catch these walleyes up here. And uh, I've got one on right now. He's getting close here. You always want to be real careful at this point when you get him up to the hole because you don't want to get those hooks stuck in the ice because you can lose a lot of fish at that point. But it's really exciting and I love doing this and I do it every day and it still gets exciting. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, now that is a beautiful Door County Marble Eye right there. It doesn't get any better. Now I'll tell you, look at the build on this fish. I mean, he's short and he's fat, and that's one thing about Door County walleyes. They're really short, but they have just huge bodies. You know, back in 1995, I caught the world record, and that thing was 13 and 3 quarter pounds for ice fishing, and it was only 30 and an eighth inches long. And uh, typically, that fish should be up around 33 inches. But that's what happens in Door County. We've got a great smelt base in here, a lot of gobies, so it gets these fish just built like Mack trucks. And I'll tell you what, what a beautiful fish. Gonna let this guy go and uh, to see another day. Fish on, Dale. What do you got, Trevor? I don't know, he hit pretty, pretty good. All right, man, let's see, what you take your time. Just take, watch, watch when you get to the hole there. This is kind of the critical part here. Keep him away from that. Oh, here's coming, he's coming. Here's here. Oh, nice fish. <laughs> hey! <laughs> nice job, oh. Trevor, man. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Bill. So, that is a beautiful Door County walleye, man. And I'll tell you what, do you want to keep this one? Let him go. What do you want to do? I'm gonna it's up keep to him. you. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's get you set back up so you can get another one because when these fish come through, they come through in small little isolated pods. So you want to try to get back in the water as quick as you can. But again, man, nice job. Thanks, Dale. But we're up here on the Bay of Green Bay in Door County. And one thing I will say is this. If you're ever going to go to a spot and you're looking for one bite and it's going to be a 10 pounder, Door County is definitely your place. We've got perfect conditions actually, Trevor. I mean, it's beautiful. We got a we got a high sky right now. I mean, clouds clouds coming in. These are typically great days, and the unfortunate part of this right now is that we're dealing with the full moon. You know, in the full moon phase, sometimes, and a lot of you at home know that full moon, whether it's fishing or hunting, can go either way. Sometimes the fishing a little bit tougher. Fish on. What you got, Jerry? <laughs> huh? I don't know. I had a, you had a white fish this earlier. morning. I'm thinking this might be an eye. They got a little, little better bigger. bend in the rod. A little bigger. All right. Just take your time. Keep an eye, keep an eye. There you go. Watch down the hole. You want, want to try to always center them in the hole. Here, here's your barrel. Your barrel. It's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Here he is. Oh, oh nice walleye. Nice walleye. Walley. Nice walleye. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, buddy. All right, All right, Jerry. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Beautiful walleye. I'll Excellent. tell you what. And again, you know, here it is getting real late in the morning. And uh, even though I talked about having that full moon, we've got that overcast. So today it's very possible that we can get bit throughout the day today. But unfortunately, we're going to have to leave pretty soon because we're going to go chase some of those big white fish as well. Man, this is gorgeous, though. This, this was worth the trip. Yeah. Well, congratulations again, man. Thank you. Thank nice you. job. I'm Dale Strohshine with Outdoor Bound, and we'll be right back after this commercial break. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews, True Fire Releases, MBS, and Pro Designs. This is my life, the weekend warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. 
This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Well, Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my True Fire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loop. I love my True Fire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a hardcore forefinger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the True Fire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Since 1999, Makovsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. For 24 years, we've been rolling up our sleeves, helping grow your business. Designing and printing the finest billboards, signs, and more. More applications, more recognition. Innovation and American craftsmanship make Pro Designs today's leader in printing performance. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Hey everyone, we love to see the photos of the animals you harvest and the fish you catch here on Outdoor Bound TV. Well this season, our friends at Petrick Service Station have once again teamed up with Mike Lee at Taxidermy to bring you some great prizes just for submitting your photos to the show. Simply log on to the Outdoor Bound TV website, click on the Submit Photo button, and all the instructions and contest rules are right there. All animal photos submitted will be entered into the Hunting Grand Prize Drawing, a Remington Model 700-270 rifle, compliments of Petrick Service Station. All fish photos submitted will be entered into the Fishing Grand Prize Drawing, a professional fish mounting, compliments of Mike Liga Taxidermy. All entries must be received by December 1st to qualify. And remember, you can't win if you don't submit your photos. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Everybody now is chasing whitefish. The whitefish is kind of yesterday's perch. The key first and foremost with whitefish is don't freeze them. Because once they freeze on the ice and you bring them back and they thaw out and you go to clean them, you're going to be very disappointed. When you, when you rig this up, here's what you're going to do. You're going to have your under your line. Take the trouble, just slide it on. Not tying it, just slide it through. Tie your barrel and tie your dropper with your jig. That hook floats free on there, okay? This is one of the reasons some of these bites really don't feel because you technically don't have an anchor point with that treble. It's very important that you do uh, like three things while you're jigging for whitefish. First and foremost is constantly be making contact with the bottom. Secondly, is constantly be moving the jig. The more that you can create a disturbance, the more activity you're gonna get. It's also imperative, I think, that you try to keep that line over your finger. The third thing you wanna do is once you've gone through a interval, what I'm gonna call an interval, pound the bottom a little bit, bring it up, pound the bottom, when you go to pause, you want to envision your jig to be almost like standing vertical on the bottom. That's where you want to throw your paws in. What you're looking for is you're going to get your rod tip, and this is all it's going to do. Those are bites. When you see that, set the hook. Oh, here we go. 
Oh yeah. Good job, Kevin. There you go, first one. First time I ever laid my eyes on one. Thought they were supposed to have a soft mouth. Okay, we're out here on the Bay of Green Bay um, with uh, Dale Strosheim. Um, this is the first time, first time for me. I don't do a whole lot of ice fishing and uh, a bunch of our buddies got together and, and uh, got invited on a trip. Um, and whitefish, never seen a whitefish before. So this is my, this is the first one. So I think uh, hopefully tonight we get a few more and, and uh, check out the frying pan. Sturgeon Bay whitefish. <laughs> nice sunny afternoon out on Sturgeon Bay catching whitefish. I am picking up some fish on the graph right now so I can see that there is some fish right there. Up there is fish right there. Whitefish on the Bay of Green Bay. Folks, we're here this weekend with Dale Strohshine at the Sand Bay Beach Resort and Wacky Walleye Guide Service. And Dale's put us on some whitefish here in the middle of the day. Now we've been fishing walleyes in the early morning and again in the evening. But the one thing nice about Green Bay, you can come out and you can do some great whitefish action during the day. And I tell you what, they're a ton of fun. It's like catching about a 20 inch panfish. Uh, we're using normal panfish jigging equipment. Uh, we're tipping with a small, in this case I'm using a small cast master spoon, uh, tipped with a little bit of Berkeley gulp, just for a little bit of scent in the water. And I tell you what, uh, whitefish is a relatively new species to fish for. It's relatively new out here on Green Bay. But uh, I think Dale used the term yesterday, he said it's the new perch. Uh, the Bay of Green Bay used to be famous for good perch fishing. Unfortunately, that perch fishing has really declined over the last few years. But with the uh, evolution of these whitefish coming into the bay, uh, they make for a great, great species to go after. And uh, they're great to eat. The fillets are wonderful and they're even better smoked. So if you get a chance, come out to Green Bay. Give it a try. Look up Dale at Wacky Walleye Guide Service or Sand Bay Beach Resort. He'll bring you out and put you on some of these great fish. And I tell you what, it's a beautiful day here. It's the month of January. Uh, the weather's about uh, right around the freezing mark. It's no better time than right out here on the ice in the Bay of Green Bay. There you go, Tiny. You got one coming up now. There, that's what the fourth one for the day for me. Kind of slowed down a little bit. Now they're picking back up. Had a few bites here in the last 
few minutes. Uh, a couple of other guys had had uh, had a couple on, but we finally connected with this one. Hey, do you want to stay up to date on the cast and crew of Outdoor Bound TV? Find them on Facebook, or you can log on to their website, OutdoorBound.tv. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Team Smackdown Outdoors, Bullseye Sports, People's Choice Credit Union, and The Flower Shop and Westside Nursery. Team Smackdown Outdoors. Smackdown Outdoors, leading the way in custom outdoor art. There is more to buying a bow than just picking it off the shelf. It has to feel right, be comfortable, easy to use, and fit who you are. Whether you are just getting started or are a seasoned marksman, the staff at Bullseye Sports can help you find that perfect fit. Bullseye is Central Wisconsin's largest independent dealer with a complete lineup of over 200 bows in stock and a full service and repair facility. Let us help you hit your mark. Bullseye Sports. We service what we sell and even what we don't. Located on South Central Avenue in Marshfield. Hunting for a new financial provider? Put People's Choice Credit Union in your scope. I enjoy the benefits of my no-fee business checking account, online banking, and mobile money. We refinanced our hosts through People's Choice Credit Union. The rates are low and the convenience of having our loan local is what really matters to us. Financing through People's Choice Credit Union saved me a lot of money because of my low loan rate. People's Choice Credit Union. Stop in today. Looking for all things floral and garden? Then look no further than the Flower Shop and Westside Nursery. The Flower Shop is a full-service florist creating arrangements for any occasion, large or small. Plus, we have gift items and wines available. Call us or order online 24-7 at westsideflower.com. Westside Nursery can help you beautify your garden. We carry a large selection of annuals, perennials, trees, shrubs, and unique hard-to-find plants. We also have bulk mulch and soils available. So whether you want to brighten someone's day or just your front yard, the Flower Shop and Westside Nursery is there for you. Archery equipment provided for Outdoor Bound TV by Mission by Matthews, True Fire Releases, Optimizer by HHA Sports, and Tacticam. <laughs> Doesn't get any more fun than this. Whitefish on Green Bay. We'll see you next week on Outdoor Bound TV. We've just had a great weekend, so it's a fishing machines they are. Oh, there he is. Whoops. <laughs> I thought he was down a lot further than that. I missed him again. We'll have to teach Roycraft how to how to do this. I think he's having little problems over here. So I should have brought him some Cheetos. <laughs>